And uh, I also want you to know that uh, the Arizona basketball team, the Suns, their jerseys are going to read Los Suns tonight. Uh, This isn't about Cinco de Mayo. This is about the law in Arizona. And it's... It's irritating me to no end. I've gone off on it a few times during the course of the broadcast. By the way, podcasts of this broadcast available at the noon hour. You may want to go back and listen to what we were saying earlier, but we'll just give you a little refresher course here. Uh, we have the Arizona Suns, the Phoenix Suns, I should say. This is Game 2 of the Western Conference semifinals tonight, and they're going to wear Los Suns on their jerseys. Now, they have a right to do that. They, they can do whatever they want with their jerseys, I suppose. Now, if it was all about Cinco de Mayo, that's one thing, but it's not. It's not. President Obama has called the new law in Arizona, the immigration law, which mimics federal law, as being misguided. So really what Barack Obama is saying, help me out here, he's saying that the federal law is misguided. Uh, that's what he's saying. In effect, if he says the Arizona law is misguided, then, and that mirrors the federal. Because Arizona law is simply enforcing the federal law. And by the way, the federal law does say if you're an alien in this country, you need to be prepared at all times to show us that you're here legally. That's that's the law. Now, I also, and people aren't pulled over, just, papers please, oh, brown skin, papers. No, that's not how it works. In fact, there are provisions in the Arizona law to make sure that does not happen. But in announcing that Phoenix would wear the Los Suns jersey for Game 2, Suns owner Robert Sarver went out of his way to knock Arizona's controversial immigration enforcement law. He called it a flawed state law. Well, sir, I call you a flawed American. Stick to the game. This is basketball. Stick to the game. Don't politicize the game. Yeah, he's he's a banker. Maybe he's mm-hmm. sucking up to Obama because uh, when it comes time for his bank to be excluded from any financial regulations, he wants to make sure he's on the right side of the fence, you so think? to speak. Maybe. And then we have guys like um, Suns guard Steve Nash. I think it's fantastic, Nash said after Tuesday's practice. You know, the low suns on the jersey. Uh I think it's very important to stand up for things we believe in. See, this isn't about Cinco de Mayo. It's about an immigration law. This league is very multicultural, he said. We have players from all over the world. Yeah, Nash was born in South Africa. He's a Canadian. Hey, dude, shut your mouth up. You're in my country. Just come back. Come over here. Make money and shut up. Don't say anything about our laws. You're lucky to be here, guy. Guess what? You're lucky to be playing basketball. You've been playing it since you were a kid. You're getting paid for it. Shut up. And guess what? All these guys in the NBA are talking down this law. I got news for you. A lot of you guys would not have a two dimes to rub together were it not for the NBA. A lot of you guys would not have any education were it not for basketball. A lot of you guys would be in jail right now. A lot of you guys couldn't afford the tattoos who you wear on their, your bodies without those big paychecks you make for, from basketball. And all you guys from Europe, that's supposedly the diversity in the NBA, <laughs> all you guys from Europe, you shut up. You're in my country. Pipe down. Play basketball. Guess what? You're At the end of the day, you're a carnival act. You're a circus, okay? We come to watch the gigantic circus performers, freaks of nature (laughs) who are taller than most people, who can do things most people can. You're freaks of nature. Your marketable skills are limited. Without basketball, most of you guys would be nothing. So shut up. You're in my country. Shut up. Zip it, pinheads. All right. Robert Gibbs. I like the circus act analogy. They are. They're circus <laughs> Carnival. acts. Have you ever gone to a Warriors game? You're watching freaks of nature running around on a basketball court. These guys are what? 6'5", 6'6", 6'7". The short guys are 6'2". They're freaks of nature. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay.